Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you how to clean up and remove background audio noise using Adobe Audition. In this case, I'm using CC 2017. Audition comes bundled with certain subscriptions. It's not necessarily with a photography bundle, but if you have Premiere, one of those packages where you are doing multimedia and video, it's probably included already. You can import audio tracks into Audition directly from Premiere by right-clicking on your audio track and selecting it from the drop-down menu. You can also open Audition, which I'm about to do right now, and import directly. I also need to point out that I am not an audio expert. This is probably one of my weakest skill sets in terms of production, but I've kind of been forced into it because I wanted to make my audio sound better. If you go back a couple years on my YouTube channel, you will hear some really terrible audio. So I've learned to clean it up and it's evolving. People will make suggestions and I'll say, oh my gosh, that's awesome. But this is a quick, easy way that anybody can clean their audio up. Two important notes is have a really good headset. And for me personally, it's Apple earbuds. They work amazing. I can hear most of the defects and noise with it. And the second thing is microphones make a huge difference. So investing into a really, really good microphone is going to really make your audio quality sound better. So typically I'm using the Sennheiser E100s in the microphone that comes with it, but if you really want incredible audio, the Countryman B6 lav mic is ridiculous. They're $300, but the signal is amazing. It just sounds so much better. There's lots to be talked about in terms of microphones and you know signal to noise ratio and things of that nature. Let me just focus on showing you how to clean up audio. So I have a test file here. I'm going to put it on my blog if you guys want to practice with it. Anytime I record a voiceover or even with a, you know, on video, I do a testing one, two, testing one, two. And then I have about three or four seconds of room tone where we're just recording the sound in the background. The reason why you want to do this is because it gives you a noise footprint that Adobe Audition can see and remove from the entire audio track. So obviously not very loud. I'm gonna come in here and bump this up a little bit so we can start to see the waveform. Lots of audio editors, they focus on the waveform. It's right here. And I like to use this spectral view. In fact, I never use the waveform view, but this is where it is if you wanna see it. Shift D. There's the waveform view. This is probably what you're most used to if you've never seen this. This allows us to do some really interesting things. So if we have a noise pop or a click, we can come in here, we can select it. and delete. There's all kinds of really crazy, neat stuff you can do. You can delete chunks of audio like this. There's these new healing brushes. But let's come back to this audio track. Feel free to download it from my blog and practice with it. Let's play it. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Here is some room tone. So this room tone right here, which should be dead silent, we can see on the levels below the monitor that there's a lot of static. And if you have a good headset, you'll be able to hear this on most YouTube videos uh, that are not cleaning up their audio tracks. So let's address this. What we're going to do is select, I'm using just this little selector tool, T. We're going to select the noise print, the room tone that we rec recorded, and we're going to press shift P. You can also find this in the effects by going to noise reduction, capture noise print, shift P, there it is. Once you have captured the noise print, then you want to go into the noise reduction process. Shift command P on Apple, I'm sure it's similar on PCs. And this brings up the noise reduction tool, super crazy, powerful tool to remove background noise. Two sliders in here that we want to be aware of is the noise reduction slider and the reduce by. And so when you're listening to your audio track in this tool, it is removing the noise print. So if we were to play it. In today's review, we're going to be testing the Nikon D500 as it compares to the Fuji X-T2. So we can come back here and obviously clicking on different parts of the audio track and we're just listening. In today's review, so by listening to, to what you're hearing, we can reduce the amount of the noise print reduction by percentage or decibel. That's what these two sliders do. 
I don't like to go all the way to 100 because it sounds like we start losing certain kinds of information we don't. I'm usually something like this. And then there's also this spectral decay rate. When you turn this up very high, we, we start to hear this echo. We're going to be testing the Nikon D500 as it compares to the... I can hear the static in that background. This is not pleasing to me. So I usually have this at about two. And you know what? I'm not even really sure what exactly that does. This sounds good to me. Today's review, we're going to be testing the... Maybe a little bit of static there still. So I'd adjust it to the point where I can no longer hear Today's it. review, we're going to be testing the... I'm listening for that static. I don't want that static there. In today's review, we're going to be testing the Nikon. Pretty happy with that. And at that point, I would apply that cleanup. Come back, we look to the footprint of the noise. It's mostly reduced. And at this point, what I, I do is I come in and I add a multi-band compressor, which allows us to adjust certain aspects of different frequencies. I go to classical master. I turn down my lows just a little bit and I can come in here and preview it again. In today's review, we're going to be testing the Nikon D500. That sounds pretty good to me. The X-T2. I kind of like that. There are some other kind of neat sounds that you can get in here. Let's just play around with this heavy guitar. These are the presets. In today's review, we're going to be testing... Sounds a little different, yeah? DSers. In today's review, we're going to be testing the... Let's listen to something funky Nikon D500 as it compares to the see how see how different that sounds in today's review so I really like the classical master and I'll come in here and I'll just tweak it just a teeny bit this is fun to come in and play with listen to it carefully and just become aware that you can really do some amazing things with your audio I'm going to apply this and that's going to level out a lot of these peaks here bring them to the same levels it's going to make it sound punchier and cleaner in today's review, we're going to be testing the Nikon D500 as it compares to the Fuji X-T2. And so to me, that sounds amazing. So what I'm going to do is export this clean file, and I'll include it in the, bun the bundle of the little download package I'm going to leave for you guys. I'll just call it final. and Put this on the desktop. There it is. And you guys can practice in, you know, just try to see if you can hear the differences things of that nature. And sometimes if I have these little pops in here like this, I would just come in here and just literally delete them because I like to sound nice and clean. Testing one, two, testing one, two. So in any event, that is a really quick, basic introductory crash course for filmmakers who are looking to clean up and sweeten their audio just a little bit without getting too technical. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. If you found this video helpful, you might be interested in one of my many camera or photography specialty courses. They're available by DVD and download and come with a 100% money back guarantee. They can be ordered from the following link.